What's up guys, Hambo here bringing you another Minecraft server tutorial. Today we're going to make a uh, craft bucket server. So first thing you want to do is make a folder like I just did and uh, name it like bucket server or Minecraft server. I already have one called Minecraft server so I can't do that. So, um, so yeah, name it whatever you want and then go to this link. I'll have this link in the description so it's easy for you. And click the first development build and click download craft bucket version 1.4.7 and then you can just um, drag this down and wait for this to download once it downloads and it's almost done there it goes there it goes it's done now so yeah once it's done downloading put it in here so it should be in there and rename it craft bucket dot jar it has to be craft bucket doesn't matter if it's like capital I think it doesn't matter just name it just put it all lowercase just to be on the safe side so yes so do that and then open up text edit so there we go text that's open and go to the second link that I'll have in the description and it should bring you to the top of this and look at this contents thing right here and it's number three Mac OS X instructions click on that and you should see this code right here. Highlight all this code, copy it, and cut Command V and paste it into the text edit. And then click Format, Make Plain Text. It has to be plain text, otherwise this will not work. And then do File, Save, save it as a, it has to be this Start dot Command. Oh no no no! Don't save it yet! Don't save it yet! So, don't save it. My bad. I'm sorry. So where it says Minecraft server right here, it should not be Minecraft server. It should be Craft Bucket. Don't click enter. It should be like this. Craft Bucket dot jar. So don't save it. Name it that. Now we can save it as start dot command. It has to be start dot command. So just remember that. It has to be that. And just save it to your desktop. You can now uh, exit out of this, minimize these, and uh, put this in here. And if you try and open it right now, it says the file start document cannot be executed because you don't have privileges. So now you want to go into terminal. So you can uh, it's in your utility folders or search in spot spotlight and type in. I'll have this code in the description, but it's chmod space a plus x space. And then it makes sure there's a space after the X. And once that's there, drag in the start dot command and click enter. So now, when you try to open it, it should start up the folder, right? So that so once it's starting, and it should start the world. But um, I'm just gonna close this. And sometimes instead of loading it, because this has happened to me before, like when I first tried doing it, it says like failed to bind port or something. You go to activity monitor, and when you search it, it should be like this search for Java, and there should be two things that say have Java in it. Quit both, just click quit process on both, and then when you reopen it, when you reopen the start dot command, it should work. So now you get all this stuff, and like, if you click uh, help, um, just let it do everything. So if you click help, it shows you all the um, uh, commands that you have if you're an op. So there's a lot of stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna go. I don't think I'm gonna like, go over all of them. Maybe in another video. So that's what you can do, and also, but uh. But for you to actually play on a server, you need to do one more thing. You need to, I'll have this also in the description below for you guys. But I need to search it because I forgot to give it up. There, Remember, this. there is no um, port forwarding in this. It's very simple. All you have to do is download this application. Put it inside the bucket server. You don't even have to, you can just put it on your desktop. I'm just putting it in here so mine's all in this one place. Click open it, open it. And... When it's in here, when you first get it, it's, there should be nothing like this, and it should just say what that is. What you want to do is click this, and, and you want to type in 255, seven, 
two five five seven, and that should happen now. Hmm. I think it's two five five seven five. Yeah, that's not it. So let me get out of that. Two five five seven five. Huh. None of these seem right to me. Shoot. But when you open up Minecraft, now that's up. Open up start dot command. Everything should be loading. Log into Minecraft. Um, and if it's your thing, you can just click add server and type in local local host. Oh wait, it can't be any spaces. It's just gotta be local host. Zero out of twenty. Join. And great. Now, now you're in your mind, your own Minecraft bucket server. So that's pretty cool. So that's what you can do. So I'm actually gonna do one more thing. Yes. So the thing is two five five seven five. I didn't think it was, but it is two five five seven five for port map. So I'll have all those links in the description. For you guys, so it would be easy for you guys to find it. You don't have to go you know, searching for this. So I'm gonna go over all of this stuff. Remember, just to open the server, all you have to do is just click on the start dot command thing. So there's all this stuff, server properties. I don't really go into this as much. You can change like the difficulty, like the game when people start out in. If you spawn monsters, spawn animals. If you have want to have a whitelist, you can do all this stuff. Allow Nether. What you want it to be called? There's all this stuff. There's like whitelist. So if like you only want like your for you and your friends to be there, and nobody else, you just type in your name, and then nobody else will be able to join. So that's pretty much it. Just ban players, ban ban IPs. What you also want to do is op whoever's playing in it, so they can uh like break blocks in the uh break blocks. What was I gonna say? Break blocks in the spawn. If you're not op, you can't do that. But you can also do all of, all the things I just did from the console. If you just type help, it tells you everything. You can like change game mode. So I can be like game mode one, my Minecraft username. Well, I'm not in the game, but so it won't work. But I can do I can do op I can op myself even when I'm not in the game. Like, see, I opt him. I can de op. I can like ban. But then uh. I can also unban them. This is all just from the console, and if you're off, you can do it from the game too. So that's pretty helpful. So this is how you make your Minecraft uh, bucket server. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also, um, probably around Monday, I think I'm gonna do a plugins video because I'm gonna be away for the weekend. So um, I'm gonna be away for the next two days. So um, on Monday, you'll guys have plugin video, and you'll have a fully operational bucket server so thanks for watching see you guys later